We did finish the wizard one, didn't we? Yeah, we f didn't we? I thought we finished it. Oh my God, did we not finish it? I thought we did. Oh goodness. Okay, let's go. So uh, there's another game in this series that is a story about wizards. So these games are all six puzzles. Um, let's see. They're all six, oh, the hearts! <laughs> They're all six puzzles and um, uh, they tell a story. So this is the beginning of the story, I guess. Um, you do not need to rotate them. And once the pieces are where they're supposed to go, they're locked in place. So there's some like quality of life stuff there. Um, and I put it on the second to highest number of pieces. The hearts are so cute. Why is that so cute to me? Because I'm a baby. So we know, because we can't rotate them, we know all of these go over here, all of these go up here somewhere, these all go here, etc. So that's kind of nice for organization. Um, you can also just just so that everybody knows if they like wound up wanting to play this um, you can also turn the picture on so you can see like maybe where things go um, we made a rule with the last one that we weren't gonna turn the picture on so I'm not gonna start now pieces is this puzzle? Uh, 540. So you can make it more if you want. You can also do it on like the lowest level and then if you wanted to redo it, it wouldn't consider it done if you like, if you bump it up a notch, if that makes sense. together okay oh I 
I love jigsaw puzzles. Cute. Okay. Um, I know that y'all probably assumed this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, no extra stream tonight because our internet still can't handle two streams. And uh, um, I keep wanting to call the game Azeroth because I don't even, my brain. Um, new WoW stuff is dropping tonight. Uh, which is also why there's no we watch things, so I won't be doing that either. Um, I'm actually recording a fun thing with Grumps tonight, so that's cool. But it will not be streamed, it's for YouTube. So. So yeah. Nothing extra from me tonight. But hopefully once we've got our, our good internet back up and kicking, um, we'll be able to do our morning and evening stream sort of stuff again. Fun day. So excited to wait in queue for minimum three hours. Dude. Enjoy. <laughs> this life. Why did you do Dex bonus across the board instead of the YouTube channel name? Um, because Dex Bonus is just a way cleaner name. Um, it's easier to remember, it's quicker to say. Um, and it felt like Press Heart to Continue was the show and not me, and that I was Dex Bonus. Even though I'm Dodger, but you know what I mean. Like, um,. Dex bonus felt like a better thing to to sort of change everything to. So yeah, that's it. Did you quit because you had a kid? Uh, I mean, that was part of it, but also I just, I really hated editing. Um, I was making like no money off of YouTube videos anymore and I didn't really enjoy making them as much. Um, and since Twitch was doing really well, I just kind of naturally dropped it. It wasn't like a choice, like I'm dropping it now. It was just, I just kind of slowly stopped doing it. And people still send me messages all the time like, hey, I don't really watch Twitch, so I haven't watched you in a really long time, but if you ever did YouTube again, that would be awesome. And I still watch, I still watch stuff on YouTube all the time. It's not like a, I think YouTube's a dead platform. I watch YouTube videos all the time. <laughs> but um, I think that I'm a much better streamer than I ever was a YouTuber. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know if that answered your question, but. I thought you were such a good YouTuber. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I feel much more, I say this a lot too, but it's the truth. I feel much more like connected to my community now than I ever did before. Um, because instead of like doing the coffee time where I'm just, I'm, I really was just by myself. Um, there's actually a response now, you know, I can actually have a conversation with everyone. Um, so it's like better for me mentally. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just more fun, so. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Like literally where I used to struggle to do a, a five minute video of me talking, I can now accidentally stream myself talking for two hours and then be like, oh my God, I've been talking for two hours. So. <laughs> Thank you very much for continuing your gifted sub. Are you looking forward to baking Christmas cookies with Clark? Um, my mother-in-law said she was going to send me the recipe for Christmas cake, I think it was. And she was like, that way you can make it with Clark. And I got to be honest, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what Christmas cake is. I was like, tight, yeah, I'll do it. I don't know what it is, but I'll do it. Ooh, yeah. There we go, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> so weird. to acknowledge also as a side note that just because I'm still thinking about it that, <laughs> that one of the reasons why I didn't feel like I was a very good YouTuber was because I spent a while living with two other YouTubers who were like doing insanely well like really really well it's almost impossible to, to not compare yourself if you're if you're living with other people who are doing your same job it's impossible to not look at them and and compare how you're doing with you know next to them so i think there was also a, a bit of that of me like plateauing for a really long time and watching other people not plateau and convincing myself like well it's because i'm i'm just not as good at this format as they are you know so is there something I can do that I will excel at more? Like, am I spinning my wheels here? Kind of a thing.
like when I did um, Swords and Stitches, which everybody really liked, and I'm so glad that they did while I was doing it. But originally, it was like, it, it was, the format wise, it was nerdy nummies, but with craft stuff, right? <laughs> And when I realized that, I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like directly copying her format. So can I do it differently? And then when I tried to do it differently in a way that was more like intensive, the way that we did it with Umatani, then it, it cost too much. And I, like every episode we made, we were in the red on, you know? And people have said before, and I think that this is true, that like Swords and Stitches never needed to be like a like a huge production. It it could and can easily be, you know, something much more simple than what I tried to do with it. Um But yeah. Introspection, self-introspection, all the time over here on twitch.tv slash dexbonus. Like, there, where are these pieces? Here we go. There's some of them. That side's done. Oh yeah, I worked on that puppet for a while and we realized that I wasn't going to be able to make the puppet the way that... Because there was a time crunch on it. So we were like, ah, never mind. Still a cool idea, I think. But not one that we were able to do in time. said it was, but this Valentine is for the person who suggested Twitch to you. I loved your YouTube. 
but you seem a lot more relaxed and comfortable here. And technically we get more content, but that's beside the point. Um, it was Sam, it's my husband, and um, Amario, our community manager. The both of them were like, you would crush it on Twitch. You should do Twitch. And I was like, oh, I don't know, guys. It's live content, and that's really scary. And now here we are. Oh my gosh. Nearly there. One piece. The one piece. side as well because they're sticking out to me. Okay, let's see if we can figure something out here. Must be one of these boxes somewhere else. Hmm. 
Ho ho! Ho ho! Sorry, I got really zoned in. What was the question? Siamedes, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. sweet. go satellite radio y'all get hit with the boom boom beat so big i'm stepping on leprechauns y'all get hit with the boom boom Speeds. I'm sorry that you haven't been feeling well. I hope you get some answers at your doctor's appointment. Oh my gosh, are they both picking up? What is this? I think it's supposed to be candy, but we're gonna say it's toilet paper. Are they both picking up toilet paper at the same time and then they fell in love? Oh my god. the real romance that the Americans want. Juicy, delicious.
Ghost Wange, what are you? A cattle? He takes his cat to the supermarket? Right, I forgot. This is about finding out how his family came together. But he takes the cat to the supermarket? To the supermarché, if you will? That seems a little far fetched Seems a tiny bit far fetched Aha! Rachel's cats are like crazy well trained. <laughs> well, some of them are. I haven't watched them in a while, but if I recall correctly, they have one or two that are not nearly as much. I'm not bringing my cat to the supermarket, guys. That would not go well with my cats. Recipe for disaster. want more cats than we have now especially with a with a baboo you know I think two is the perfect number when also juggling a baby because I would feel bad if I didn't if I didn't feel like I was able to spend you know adequate time dog to cat ratio. I don't know. I've never had an indoor dog. That's the other thing. Sam really misses having a dog. Um, my mom is very allergic to dogs, so we've been putting off like, like really considering a dog for a long time. But, um, If lockdown wasn't happening, if the pandemic was not around, is probably the, the better thing to say. If there was no pandemic, um, pretty much everybody in his family has dogs. So he could scratch the itch by like going and spending time with, you know, the other family dogs. Very cute cat, right? Okay, I should wrap up in a minute. We're gonna say two more pieces. Place two more pieces. Let's go, let's go. L E T S G O. It's part of your neck. 
somewhere. black pieces would be the easy out. I'm pretty sure that one goes there. But I'd like to find this piece specifically. Ooh. No. Ooh. Two pieces. The last piece needs to be the cattail. Oh, here it is. There you go. But now we don't have his ear tip. Chat room. Reset game. No, oh, just turn it off. Oh my goodness. Reset game. What am I, a monster? <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, that's it for me today. Let's see. Let's get everything popping, popping. Oh my god, there's so many Valentines again. Okay, let's go quickly. Voice Yonder says, do you ever think to yourself like, damn, my coffee time really spawned a whole category on Twitch. You paved the lane on the internet and did it in a fun, wholesome way. Here's your flowers. Thank you. Um, I do think sometimes about the fact that I kept going to, uh, I kept going to the people that I knew at Twitch and being like, if I do craft stuff, is it a problem? And they were like, I mean, I guess not. And then we got the creative category. But now they're like, we got a, a creative category and then they split it up into a million things. And now it's just, and now creative is entirely an IRL except for music. I think they should just go back to having a full creative category personally. Anyways, uh, Henry, thank you very much for the Valentine. They said, here's a Valentine for Chewbacca who's in low power mode and needs to study. I'm going to load up the Valentine cannon if I see you here. Uh, Werewolf of the Ancient Land says, I love you all. Valentine, oh no, that's bad. Valentino, no, that's bad, says, big love to everybody for making a nice little space here to be and exist. Kitty Foe says, I'm so glad I could finally catch a Saturday morning Duger in person. I hope you're all being safe, wearing a mask, and doing well. Hat Cat says, I don't remember who you said it was, but this Valentine is for the person who suggested Twitch to you. We did read that one out. Yeah. Arnar says, big community hug for Duger. That is all. Thank you. Henry says, here's a Valentine for our dear cat mother, Dodger. Thanks for telling us your stories, your life, and bringing us so much joy and happiness in this safe space. I don't know why I smell onions. I'm definitely not crying. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Chebecca says, Dodger, you're by far my favorite Twitch streamer. You have one of the best communities on this whole dang website. Love you and the cat gang. I don't know what I would do without you guys nowadays. Thank you, Chebecca. Shire Livin says, I'm the most relaxed I've been in ages. Not just because the streams were already super calming, but I stayed up until five to catch it, fell asleep to the stream, and I feel better than I have been knowing my sleep schedule will probably normalize from it. So I hope everyone's having a good start to the week and staying hydrated. It takes a lot to stay so cute. I love you all from my little black heart. <laughs> 
great Kia says this Valentine goes to Dodger and the lovely mods and everybody in chat who is helping create a welcome and wonderful community. Being here always feels a bit like coming home. So I'm sending all you cute beans my love. Thank you, Reikia. Oh, so many sweet messages today. Archeon says, I'm going to join in on the love for Dodger. I look forward to your streams every day since I know I can just chill and talk with you in the community for hours. Everybody is so wholesome and lovely and great. We all met thanks to you. So thank you for the love you've brought us. Arnar says, to Reikia, all the good folks in the community contribute to what it is. So thanks for hanging and chatting and contributing in all the various ways. Sir Chunk says, I'm going through a rough last couple of months, but Dodger streams in the Pareto community always make me smile no matter what. So thank you all. Jason says, it's cold as fuck. <laughs> Lavia <laughs> says a Valentine to this wonderful community. Have a good time zone and to Dukes for the chill vibes and the chicken jail. Potato says, is this thing on? And Jason says, only awesome people read this. <laughs> um, r, r and Wild Blast, thank you very much for reminding people to hydrate. We got a couple of subscriptions. Um, so let's do those. <laughs> I know, right? The Valentines are so silly. I love it. Um, okay. Gift a sub to Unchained Passion from Sir Lurker. Welcome to the Katogangu. And thank you, Sir Lurker, for using your points on Unchained Passion. Bum, bum, bum. And Sifhound would like to give one out to a random non-sub in chat. So let's see. <clears throat> Paisley Manatee. Welcome to the cat gang. Oh, gosh. The window that pops up is so big when you go to gift a sub to somebody that I have to wait until your name gets further up in the list after I've refreshed. <laughs> There we go. Paisley Manatee, welcome to the cat gang. Again, that's from Sifhound. Sifhound. Oh, and Mr. Al, right at the end here, would like to also gift a sub to a rando. So, let's see. Uh, Jorgen the Diplomat. Is this a new room? It sure is. Also, welcome to the cat gang. <laughs> from Mr. Al. Thank you both very much. <coughs> cool. Tight, tight, tight. Um, Warner suggested alchemy for our raid. So let's see if they are still alive. They are not. Um... Stop streaming 15 minutes ago. Okay, I'll give your points back. No problem. Uh, let's see. Who's doing what? Let's see, let's see. Oh, Nick! Nick was just in here. Let's go say hi to Nick Terhorst. Um, after I read off the activity feed. Oh my gosh, everything's out of order right now. Okay, here we go. Josie Springs, thank you for the six months. Watch Chris play for the 14. Tom Servo for the 49. Carcer Dunn for the four. Dr. Cabriant for the 20. Quizzical Monk for the biddies. Maltzy for the 42. Tentacle Meow for the four years. Happy anniversary. Rincey, thank you for the 15. Nexio for the 37. Wolfsten for the 17. Dr. Goost for the two, American Duchess for the one year, happy anniversary, Space Pirate Pluto for the seven, Crabat for the 16, Medial TV for the 11, Broken Play Thing for the 54, Coled and Mas Masaka Joker, thank you very much for subscribing, both of you welcome to the cat gang, Geek Step for the 67, 
Uh, Mythos Loric for the 16. Zephyrus, one for the 53. Call me Trim Tab for the 14. Diego, the one-eyed cat for the 11. Sneak Bonus for the 28. Jazz Jackrabbit for the 53. Cyber Panda for the 23. Invisible Diz for the 4. Thumb Freeze for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Maggie Pow Pow for the 21. Hank Yad for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Sir Glider, thank you very much for gifting a sub. Killer Tapper for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Ryan Bell streaming for the 2. Gerg for the 17. Almost Will for the 1 year. Happy anniversary. Fanciest Fish, thank you for subscribing. Ice T for Dawin, thank you for the 42. Fox B for the 21. Off Color for the 3. Alfrey Jav Jalva. Thank you for the 26. I'm so sorry. Nick Mohiro for the 27. Cupid Orchid for the 11. Lady Arcana for the 44. Jackathon. Thank you for gifting subs. Um, Demon Lemming for the 76. Gokshano for the one year. Happy anniversary to you as well. Keen Cat. Thank you for the 26. Gumps Gang for the 50. Atomic Sosa for the two. Old Man Civil for the 28. Siamedes for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Jason for the 67. Mangaka 200. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Or do Thank you for the three. Rekia Potato. Thank you very much for gifting subs. And Sapple Jello. Thank you for the 38 months right at the end here. Okay. Let's go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Two streams. Um, maybe two streams. I might not be able to do Super Cousin time aside from like being on Teary's stream. So I'll let you guys know. It all depends on if Sam is already streaming in the night. But uh, you're all lovely and I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye.